Okay, good morning, everybody. We're going to start off with um, a very short act of contrition before we say our post-communion prayers, which will act as our prevenience act for the day. That's where we offer up everything in the divine will. So I confess to almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Jesus, with the dawn of each new day, through your dearest mother Mary, I renew my acceptance of this gift. And I thank you with all my heart and soul. May I live every moment in your divine will. Jesus, I desire to enter into you and to be one with you. And I take what I find in you. Jesus, I find in you my own life and the lives of everyone from Adam to the last one to be created, which you have perfectly redone in your divinity. And I offer them to the Father with you for his glory and a perfect return of love. Amen. My Jesus, in your loving providence, you have allowed us to learn that your kingdom is now coming on earth, that we can enter into this kingdom. And this is what I wish to do with all my heart. I want your divine will to reign in me all day long as it did in paradise in Adam and Eve, as it did in your home in Nazareth, in Mary with Joseph. I want your divine will to reign in me, as it did in Louisa, the firstborn in the divine will in these times. I want you to animate all that I do, to think my thoughts, speak my words and do my actions. I want the divine will to have complete freedom in my humanity so that at every moment of this day and night, your holy will may be done in me to give you all the love, adoration, praise, thanksgiving, honour, glory and reparation on behalf of the human race and especially on behalf of those who do not yet know that they can enter into the kingdom of your divine will. Ever holy and indivisible Trinity, I adore you profoundly. I love you intensely. I thank you perpetually for all and in the hearts of all. And we offer these prayers, Lord, in your will, in the name of everyone, with your will and in the name of everyone. maternal appeal of the queen of heaven to mankind to enter into the divine will dearest child i feel the irresistible need to descend from heaven to make you my maternal visits if you assure me of your filial love and faithfulness i will remain always with you in your soul to be your teacher, your model, your example and most tender mother. I come to invite you to enter the kingdom of your tender mother, the kingdom of the divine will. And I knock at the door of your heart that you may invite me in. You know it is with my own hands that I bring you this book as a gift. I offer it to you with my maternal care so that in reading it, you in turn may learn to live by the life of heaven and no longer by that of earth. This book is of gold, my child. It will form your spiritual fortune and also your happiness on earth. 
In it, you will find the fount of all goods. If you are weak, you will acquire strength. If you are tempted, you will achieve victory. If you have fallen into sin, you will find the compassionate and powerful hand to raise you up. If you feel afflicted, you will find comfort. If you are dejected, you shall discover the surest path to rekindle hope. If famished, you shall enjoy the heavenly bread of the divine will and you will lack nothing. You will no longer be alone, for I, your tender mother, will provide you with the sweetest company and with all of my maternal care. I will take on the commitment of making you happy. I, your heavenly empress, shall take care of all your needs, provided you agree to live united with me. If you knew my longing, my ardent sighs, and the tears I shed for my children, if you knew how this heart of mine is set ablaze in desiring that you listen to my lessons imbued with heaven, so that you may learn how to live in the divine will. In this book, you will read of amazing things. You will find a mother who loves you so much that she is willing to sacrifice her own beloved son for you in order for you to live of the same life she lived on earth. Do not inflict me with the sorrow of you rejecting me, but accept this gift of heaven that I am bringing you. Welcome my visit and my lessons. Know that I will go throughout the, the world imparting my lessons to each individual and to all families, to religious communities, to every nation and to all peoples. If necessary, I will do so for entire centuries until, as their queen, I have formed my people and as their mother, my children, so that they may know the gift of living in the divine will and allow it to reign everywhere. Such is the purpose of this book. Those who will welcome it with love will be the first fortunate children to belong to the kingdom of the divine fiat. And with gold characters, I will inscribe their names in my maternal heart. Have you understood, my child? That same infinite love of God who chose me in the work of redemption as the instrument through whom the eternal word should descend to earth, chooses again to avail himself of me by entrusting to me the difficult yet sublime task of forming the children of the kingdom of his divine will on earth. Therefore, with maternal care, I set out preparing for you the way that will lead you to this happy kingdom. For this purpose, I will impart to you sublime and heavenly lessons. I shall teach you new and special prayers through which you will exercise dominion over the heavens, the sun, the acts of all the saints and over all creation. Indeed, over my very life and that of my son, so that in your name these may implore the adorable kingdom of the divine will that it may come and reign on earth. These prayers 
are the most powerful of all, as they exercise dominion over the divine work itself. Through these prayers, God will feel disarmed and won over by the soul. With confidence in such aid, you will hasten the coming of, the, of this most happy kingdom. And with me, you will obtain, according to the desire of the divine master, the realization of the, of the Our Father prayer, the fulfillment of his divine will on earth as it is in heaven. Have courage, my child. Make me happy by not refusing me this honour and I shall bless you. Prayer to the Celestial Queen for the each day of the month of May. Immaculate Queen, my Celestial Mother, I come onto your maternal knees to abandon myself in your arms as your dear child and to ask of you with the most ardent sighs in this month consecrated to you the greatest of graces that you admit me to live in the kingdom of the divine will. Holy Mother, you who are the queen of this kingdom, admit me to live in it as your child that it may no longer be deserted, populated by your children. Therefore, Sovereign Queen, I entrust myself to you, that you may lead my steps in the kingdom of the divine will. And as I cling to your maternal hand, you will lead all of my being to live perennial life in the divine will. You will be my mother, and to you, as my mother, I deliver my will, that you may exchange it the divine will, and so I may be sure I will not go out of this, its kingdom. Therefore, I pray, I pray you to illuminate me in order to make me comprehend what the will of God means. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the little sacrifice of the month, each morning, mid day and night, three times a day, let us go onto our knees to our celestial mother and say to her, my mother, I love you. And you love me and give me a sip of the will of God for my soul. Give me your divine blessing that I may do all my actions under your maternal gaze. Okay, it's now Maria Tara. and Tara. Sorry. Tara, if you read um, The Soul to Her Immaculate Queen. Here I am, O oh most sweet mother, prostrate before you. Today is the first day of the month of May that is so holy to you when all your children wish to offer you their little flowers to show their love and bind your love to them. I see you descending from the heavenly homeland accompanied by a host of angels to receive the beautiful roses, the humble violets and the chaste lilies of your children. Smiling upon them with love, you requite them with graces and blessings. And pressing the gifts of your children to your maternal heart, you bring them to heaven to keep them as pledges and crowns 
for the moment of their death. Heavenly Mother, among so many of your children, I, who am the least and the neediest of all, wish to come onto your maternal lap every day to bring you not flowers and roses, but a divine son. My dear mother, help your child by giving me your lessons and by teaching me how to form these divine sons in order to give you the most beautiful homage and the purest love. Dear mother, now that you know what your child desires, teach me how to live in the divine will and I, transforming, transforming my acts and my entire being in the divine will, in the way you teach me, will bring upon your lap every day all my acts transformed into sons. Blessed child, your prayers wound my maternal heart and draw me down from heaven. I am already next to you, my child, to offer you my lessons imbued with heaven. Look at me, dear child. Thousands of angels surround me, all reverently waiting to hear me speak of the divine fiat, whose fount I possess more than any other creature. I know of its admirable secrets, infinite joys, indescribable happiness, and incalculable value. To hear my child calling me because she desires to listen to my lessons on the divine will is for me the greatest festivity, the purest joy. If you listen to my lessons, I will consider myself most fortunate to be your tender mother. Oh, how I sigh to have a child who desires to live only in the divine will. Tell me, O oh child, will you make me happy? Will you place your heart, your will, and your entire self in my maternal hands so that I may prepare you, dispose you, strengthen you, and empty you of everything? If you do so, I will completely fill you with the light of the divine will and form in you its divine life. So place your hand upon the heart of your heavenly mother and be attentive in listening to me so that my sublime lessons may make you decide to never do your will, but always the will of God. My child, listen closely to what your tender mother wishes to tell you. It is my maternal heart that loves you so very much and wants to pour itself out on you. Know that I have you inscribed right here in my heart and that I truly love you as my child but I feel a pang of sorrow as I see that you are not similar to your tender mother. Do you know what renders us dissimilar? It is your will that robs you of the freshness of grace, of the beauty that enraptures your creator, of the strength that conquers and endures everything and of the love that impacts everything. In a word, your will is not the will which animates your heavenly mother. I knew my human will only to keep it sacrificed in homage to my creator. My life was completely imbued with the divine will. From the, from the first moment of my conception, I was molded, warmed, 
and placed in the light of the divine will, which purified my human seed with its power in such a way that I was conceived without original sin. Therefore, if my conception was so spotless and glorious as to form the honour of the divine family, it was solely on account of the omnipotent fiat that poured itself out over my seed, whereby I was conceived pure and holy. If the divine will had not poured itself over my seed with more love than a tender mother to preserve me from the effects of original sin, I would have experienced the poor plight of all other souls, that of being conceived with original sin. Therefore, the primary cause of my immaculate conception was the divine will alone. May it be honoured, glorified and praised for having conceived me without original sin. Now, child of my heart, listen closely to what I, your tender mother, am about to say. Never let your human will act on its own. Be content to die rather than concede one act of life to your own will. I, your heavenly mother, was content to die thousands and thousands of times rather than to do one single act of my own will. Do you not wish to imitate me? Oh, if you will keep your will sacrificed in honour of your creator, the divine will shall take its first step in your soul and you will feel moulded with a heavenly aura. Purified and warmed in such a way that you will feel the seeds of your passions disappear and you will feel yourself placed by God within the first steps of the kingdom of the divine will. Therefore, be attentive. If you are faithful in listening to me, I will guide you and lead you by the hand along the interminable ways of the divine fiat. I will keep you sheltered under my blue mantle and you will be the predilection of my heart, my glory and my victory and you will attain victory as well. Immaculate Virgin, my mother, place me on your maternal lap with your holy hands Take possession of my will, purify it, mould it, and warm it with the touch of your maternal hand. Teach me to live slow, solely on the divine will. Today, to honour me, from the morning onward, in all your actions, place your will into my hands, telling me, my mother, may you yourself offer the sacrifice of my will to my creator. My mother, enclose the divine will in my soul so that it may acquire its primary place and establish therein its throne and indwelling. <laughs> 